Do you feel stuck? Does it seem like your life has come to a complete hold, yet everyone seems to be advancing, you know, getting onto bigger and better things, but there you are, almost moving backwards. There's this thing about highlights that kind of make us feel like we're not advancing in life. If you look at your favorite characters from the Bible, I mean the Davids, the Elijahs, the Jacobs, and the Abrahams, they relatively had only a couple chapters in the Bible dedicated to them. The Bible can't have every detail of everyone's life. If not, I mean, <laughs> you're talking about a whole library here if that was the case you take for example a lot of people's favorite character in the bible david right you see that even his life he was only introduced to us at the age of 17 and we didn't even know much about david we just know that he was a shepherd and he took care of a few sheep that was it so the bible doesn't go into details of david's life it just introduces him to us at age of 17 where he's getting anointed as king the bible doesn't describe to us in detail joseph's 12 years in prison he just lets us in on a couple snippets. And even David's life, you can look at his life in snippets. You know, anointed king, kills Goliath, becomes king. But when you fill in the blanks, you find that the journey is very long and it takes tenacity and courage to see through. But if we're not careful to fill in the blanks and read between the lines, David was a shepherd. He took care of sheep day in, day out in the wilderness. I mean, how boring could that be? Probably at some point in his life, he felt like, all my friends and my brothers are at war, but here am I in the lonely wilderness taking care of sheep. He must have hated his life at some point. And he must have thought, I'm not moving anywhere. Like, what is this thing that I'm doing all day, every day? Now, even after David was anointed king and got this massive break in his life, you know, then he went on to take down Goliath and then he starts living with Saul in the palace. Guess what? Saul gets jealous of him and wants to kill him. David now has to run away from the palace. He just got this amazing break. Now he's running away. He can't even enjoy this little moment in his life. He runs into caves and hides for another 13 years. 13 years, which the Bible doesn't intricately describe to us every moment of, right? 13 years. There's this book in the Bible, Galatians 6 verse 9, that says, Do not grow weary in well-doing, for you will reap your reward if you faint not. You will reap your reward if you do not get tired. You see, everyday life can seem to be very boring and just very mundane. But I tell you, in God, as long as you are obeying His commands for your life, as long as you are in His will and His purposes for your life, you are advancing. It might not always be clear that you are moving forward. It might not always be clear that you are advancing, but you are. As long as you are in God, you are advancing. The lives of all these great people in the Bible, you would just see, you know, the voice of the Lord came to Elijah and the voice of the Lord came to Abraham and told him to move and the voice of the Lord came to Joshua and said so and so. But what it doesn't tell you is the voice of the Lord wasn't coming to these guys every single day of their lives. Some days they had to wake up like us. Some days they just had to get on with life just like us. The boring everyday stuff, they had to do that. But what happens in the Bible is, you know, it just compresses their lives into these little peak moments, which each and every one of us have. If I take the highlights of your life and just, you know, make a couple chapters out of it, your life will look interesting too. And that's even what social media is about. You know, you look at all these amazing highlights of people's lives. But there is the everyday element that don't seem so interesting. There is the everyday hustle and bustle that just kind of looks flat. But the Bible is saying, if you don't grow weary in doing what I've called you to do, if you don't grow weary in doing the everyday simple things that may look boring, you will reap your reward if you faint not. You will reap your reward if you don't give up.